So, let's talk a little bit about cloning and uh, what I think it's the, you know, crazy conspiracy psyop of it, the truth of it, and the, the, the hidden truth about uh, stuff they don't want us to know. Um, and before we even begin, we're going to talk about uh, a lot of stuff going on in the, the media, the, you know, the starlets, the um, quote-unquote music artists, and, uh, you know, Hollywood, um, quote-unquote celebrities, stuff going on. We're going to talk about the science of clones what really is available for you to uh, to study, to understand about cloning, what could be hidden, what could be going on for a long time, what, can, what is probably a PSYOP, uh, a meme, if you, if, you, if you may call it that, and uh, the Probably the, the most hidden part of it, it's uh, why there is a lot about transhumanism in the Holy Bible, you know, why uh, the prophet Daniel in the Holy Bible, uh, more than 3,000 years ago, 3,000 years ago, seems to be talking about uh, transhumanism. And something really weird going on in the end of days. And why the days we live today look so much as the prophecies of Daniel. And uh, we're going to talk a lot about, uh, you know, hidden stuff and things that... Uh, are only pretend hidden, if you may, if you may, but they are actually something a type they want us to believe. So if you uh, search for cloning on YouTube, let's start. You find stuff like this, like uh, someone make a video showing uh, celebrities celebrities uh, talking about cloning on their Twitter. Usually, you know, this Adina Porter girl, she talks a lot. She's a, I think she was in Vampire Diaries, something like that. Talk about, uh, might not be real, and the clones, you know, the, this tongue-in-cheek. And uh, people read too much into it, but, uh, you know, this is the... the, the the very surface of the lake, if you may, okay, if you will. Uh, this, you know, celebrities getting a couple of thousand more likes on their tweets by mentioning the word clone. And this is what we call a promotional kind of stunt. So you, you hire a, pub a publicist, something like that, you're let's face it, not that talented, like this guy POV. What what do we expect from the, the, the career of such a guy, okay? And uh, very untalented rip hop artist, but uh, he goes on a tirade, uh, tirade about uh, flat earth, things like that. And uh, suddenly a lot of people talk about him. And this is the surface level of the lake. And, and this works in two, uh, there are two goals that uh, it should be achieved in this level, okay? First of all, this so-called celebrity starlets, you know, very low level, very low talent, talent kind of artists, they, the publicists get to a guy like B.O.B. and say, you know, you know, there are like five, ten million people in the United States that believe in any conspiracy that you put out. And they consume 
anything related to this conspiracy. That, that's the publicist talking to B.O.B. And he goes, yeah, okay, what's your point? Yeah, what if you start to talk about flat earth and things like that? Then I will look like an idiot, B.O.B. says. He said, no, 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 it doesn't matter. You know, you are a hip hop artist, you know, you're just starting your career or whatever. It's almost ending anyways, because let's face it, you know, <laughs> you're no Paul McCartney. But uh, you know, you know, public enemy, we ain't changing anything. So let's do this. You start making tweets about flat earth and all this outrageous stuff. And uh, people that are into conspiracies, they will buy your stuff. And uh, people that are not, they will talk about you. You know, there will be this momentum. Uh, you will be like a novelty act somehow and uh, you know that will give you an extra mileage for your career and then this B.O.B. guy said okay I'll do it but don't get me wrong he's a young guy maybe he just watch it uh, flat earth uh, video or something as I said to you guys before they are really convincing their videos and uh, Maybe he watched a uh, Donald Marshall video. You know, this guy right here talks about cloning, you know, and uh, it's a, if you watch any of these videos, uh, I have, he talks about cloning, cloning centers, things like that. Very, you know, uh, Depths of hell, conspiracy, really, the, the things this guy called about. And it's all over the place. He makes a lot of stuff. And uh, he talks about uh, the, the demons that come in, into the night. To, to, I mean, he talks about so much stuff. But, but one of the stuff I saw him talking about, that uh, the alien protection things are related to, to clones. And... Uh, and, and I said, oh, I said at one, one opportunity, I said, you know, really, that's interesting because every time I see someone having trouble with alien abduction, you know, demons coming to the night, the demons that come to hate you, the, the, these are real stuff, it happens. But all the time, the only one constant I encounter in these cases, in my personal experience and also in tons of people I talk to and research is if you mention the name of Jesus Christ, if you say the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, go away. The so-called demons or aliens, they go away screaming your heart, okay? So how that fit with uh, Donald Marshall narrative of uh, cloning centers? Because he's stated in a lot of videos that Jesus Christ is a fake, it's a, it's a hoax. Very interesting that this guy would say that, right? Yeah, so that to me that this show that this Don Marshall guy is not to be trusted, but one thing is interesting. I, I have like, a, I, I, I know it's a, what do you say, it's not scientific pooling, but uh, it's an anecdotal evidence, I would say. It happened to me the, the first three times I tried to watch a, a whole video of this guy yeah. in three different occasions. It happened to around 10 people I talked to. After watching their videos of this dude right here, Donald Marshall, it's a guy that talks about uh, he, he's been cloned, he wrote the Metallica songs, Megadeth songs, Dream Theater songs, you know. He, he talks that the day he, he wrote all the songs <laughs> and uh, but, but but the important thing is every time these people talk to me and I experienced that after watching like a one hour video of Don Marshall there was relentless relentless demonic attack during the night for like a a uh, couple of days to a week to two weeks, depending on the person. To me, it's like a couple of days at the most. 
and uh, only stop uh, every night it only stops when you say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ go away okay and if you want it to really stop that's a kind of a pro tip if you, if you will say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ go back to the abyss now if you say that man you're gonna hear some screaming from the demons and uh, it sounds crazy but uh, if it happens to you in the night it's a very powerful tool if you're saved of course because if you're not saved you have big problems than that bigger problems than that get saved accept Jesus in your heart and you you, you have a eternity guarantee okay after that everything is pales in comparison this is the biggest problem anyone have okay it's what's going to happen to you in eternity because let me tell you that, and we'll, go, we'll get into cloning in a second, just uh, bear with me, okay? If you don't know, if you, if you are thinking that God will examine your lives and, and weight your good against your bad and somehow you enter to heaven, you're crazy, man. There's no man alive or dead in history except Jesus Christ that can get into heaven by his own merits. There's no one. So. There's only one way you're not going to hell. It's accepting Jesus. There is not another way. Because he died to pay for the, the evil you do. I don't do any evil. Yeah, you know what? You just did. You know? Just thinking you're, you're, you're a good person is a very evil thing. Being a human. And yeah, and uh, this is it. I, I know a lot of people love that Donald Marshall. But there's something really evil about this guy. And I'm not saying, not saying yet, that there there are not because we're going to get into that. There are not something going on about clones, but this guy is not the source you should be uh, tapping into, or you should, but take with a grain of salt everything he says because he says a lot of stupid things, you know, and he doesn't know the basics. Of spiritual warfare, you know, and any any person that uh, was once attacked, spiritually attacked, know the power of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and he thinks it's a hoax. Okay, and at one one time, uh, he even said, "Ah, oh, if that happens, because it's uh, the programming of the clone," you know, that there is. There's no, you cannot have your cake and eat it too, okay? Either clone is a real thing or it's a spiritual, okay? If it's a clone getting to your walls, it's of course from another dimension, it's spiritual, it's a demon. It's not a clone. You cannot have both, you, you keep going back and forth and, you know, changing the narrative to adjust to your lives. That said, there's something really weird going on. Don Marshall aside, okay? The, the way we describe the clone centers, I don't know about it, but uh, the, the, the flimsy evidence he gives, he gives you, oh, he, the proof he gave is this. This is the, the proof he gave. A Megadeth cover album. Here it is. This is. Oh, this is uh, proof I am a clone. I am the Megadeth cover album. With the fake blood here, you know, and uh, this is the proof he, he presents to you saying he's a clone or he has been in clone centers, whatever. First things first, could be very well be him, could be that he posed for this picture, he was a model or something, could be that, could be a dude that looks like him, he has a very common face. Okay, but uh, I'm not saying one way or other. But let, let's get into the the what what's going on with uh, with cloning. Okay, one one problem with all the, the cloning debates is uh, if your basic logic is if you make a clone, like clone myth, myth number one, instant clones are not possible. Okay, if you clone an individual, it still has to grow, right? You have to clone it and, and it still has to grow. And uh, 
how could you make it grow faster? Okay, how could you make it grow faster? That's the first, the first issue. Okay. Uh, then the, the carbon copy thing. Oh, the clones are not really carbon copies. There's the nature nurture uh, debate, you know, because if you, you have two twins, they grow very differently from each other because of the nurtured side of it. So you cannot get a full grown individual on a tube, you know, on a, like a uh, alien alien resurrection kind of, uh, you know permaculture or something like that, like a tube with water and it grows into an adult, you know, you can, and, and, and this is still, we're still getting like the very first death from the lake, bear with me, I'm not, I'm not finished, okay, I'm talking about what they present to us as what's possible right now, okay, so we know it could be very well be uh, there are some hidden texts like Donald Marshall talks about like uh, you know Chila Tequila or whatever and uh, it could be some hidden stuff because we know that there are hidden technologies you know uh, but uh, as it is presented to us right now it's not possible okay uh, this one I like. Myth number three about cloning is that cloning is always an artificial process, and, and that's not true. And the, here, the the, uh, the author of this article talks about, you know, bacteria and, and single cell protozoaries that make copies of their own DNA, which is cloning, okay? And talk about this insect right here, the lay eggs. And the eggs are exactly co copies of himself, and doesn't need uh, male and female. It's a uh, here is you know the, the, the aphid and the, the little baby aphids, and they are exactly alike. They are they are clones, and of course, in uh, in gardening, you can graft, you know. Uh, a, a branch and it grows into a tree something like that you can and, and you, you get clones of a tree you get a, a branch and it turns to another tree there's a lot it can do you know creating the perfect vegetable pain, pl plants if you, you have a particular one prize winning plant you can clone it in this very simple way so um, therefore, we know myth number four is cloning is not a new technology. We have been doing this for a long, long time uh, with bananas, grapes, apples, things we do. And of course, nature, a uh, creation of God, as we believe, um, does that as well. We have a starfish, you know, if you cut in half, you have two starfish, same DNA. Uh, this is this is I, I would this is where we should start going deeper into the water because it says yeah clone animals live lo short lives and suffer from health problems and they this in the the you know University of Utah say no 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 that's not true it's they are not necessarily damaged may, many live longer lives but uh, we do have uh, in, in, this is when we Start, stop listening, uh, reading this article, but we go to this one. Uh, Dolly, the Dolly sheep died young, and she had, you know, arthritis and problems that uh, uh, should only appear in older sheep. And uh, not only she inherited part of uh, the, the health problems her mother had, but uh, it was greatly uh, enhanced, the problems that she had a tough time because of the sheep, okay. So, uh, when they say, oh, it's a myth, of course it's not. Of course it's not a myth. Of course, uh, if you clone, which is something totally unnatural, that this kind of cloning, not, not uh, the, the plants and stuff like that, but if you get uh, mass with embryos, you know, something like that would be so, so beautiful and natural, 
and start messing with this, of course you have all kinds of problems. And mind you, this is Los Angeles Times, they say, oh, uh, cloned animals don't age faster than, than conventional ones, study says. Of course you expect that from the, you know, disgusting mainstream media. Okay, so this is nothing. This, but the, what, what they want us to, to think is that it's totally safe, you don't have to worry about it. It's great. Okay, so we're not going to read everything. We can pause if you want. I don't know why would you want it, but the thing is, uh, let's close this. And another another one here. Does cloning result in premature age? And just to get the gist of it, they say no. Okay. So how could it be possible, you know, that uh, people say, oh, I, I, my clone is my exact age and we are going to fly to LAX something like that. Of course it's not possible, you know, because if you had a clone and he, she had an appointment or a late night show or something, you, you have to be stay at your home. Because as soon as you appear in two, two places at the same time, uh, it will be such a disaster scandal. Nothing could could uh, prevent it from going public. So of course this is not possible. And and the, the very fact that the uh, clones cannot premature age shows that uh, it's impossible. You know, you could even you could clone this girl here. But you would, what would you end up with? Is after nine months you would have a baby a in a party. That's what it would you have, you know? And probably a lot of times, because uh, uh, probably a, a lot of trouble because what we we don't we don't see is when they clone an animal or something like that. What we see is the end result that the that was acceptable, doesn't have any monstrosities, deformities, monst monstrous deformities. But uh, the, the dozens and dozens of disgusting, monstrous, deform deformed clones, they don't, they just discard it, you know. And it is life there, you know, treating with such a little respect. And, uh, okay, so this is where the artificial surface of the lake ends. Now, look at this, artificial womb would be uh, becoming a reality, and, and they have this, it could be a hoax, but uh, I don't know, it's uh, in, in Japan, they are trying to develop a, uh, a little, a little goat fetus, you know. This is, of course, is a, an artist's redemption, redemption of what would be with a human being. And uh, in itself, it's crazy. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. But uh, with uh, th this is the most fringe aspect of it. But uh, you know, in mainstream media, we have this. Vice, which is more the border, I don't like them at all, but uh, womb free birds just got a lot more real. Uh, scientists have grown human beings for two weeks on petri dish. What they are doing now, they have these embryos, okay, that uh, can grow for two weeks in a, uh, in a, let, let me find here, because my English is not that good. Uh, what they have is, they have this reach in proteins and, uh, you know, something that to, to give nutrition to the embryo, yeah. the liquid. And, and this way, it's like artificial womb, the, the thing starts to grow. So, it could be a way to develop something, you know, in the long run, but uh, of course, uh, thank God for now, uh, there are laws that uh, forbid you to 
to go after the 13 day break line you know there's a moratorium of uh, going after 13 days developing such an inbrews so, now what I, I I would like to say to you guys is this is of course as I said is uh, what they are telling us right you know they are already telling oh if you have a, this is a better article it's from the telegram uh, groundbreaking research scientists invented a thick soup of nutrients which mimics condition of the wound at the embryo life for days longer and uh, I bet you guys that these scientists they have a, a hidden room somewhere where they could you know just let the thing grow and this is where ends everything we know has uh, out in the open as they say because I'm telling you right now if they do that if they, if they are doing that what ends up with what we went up with is the monstrosity okay it's the monstrosity human being is not only flesh and bone it's not only uh, mitochondria and genetic codes and things like that the human being it's a uh, a uh, living soul, you know, has the breath of life of God Himself. This is all true. And what these disgusting scientists are creating is a very demonic, satanic kind of life. You know, this is what this thing could be. Uh, and, and if you have the very old debate uh, would a clone have a soul of course not of course not it would be a vessel for demons okay and not only that it probably would have to have a demon living inside possessing it, it would be the perfect vessel for a demon because the demon would play the role of a soul it would be nothing but a machine an organic machine for a demon to manifest himself. And this could very well be what's coming because now we get into what I told you in the beginning. The book of Daniel in the Bible has a very cryptic, a very mysterious passage which states, And whereas thou sawest, iron mixed it with my clay, they they shall mingle themselves with the seed of man, but they shall not cleave one to another. They shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. Isn't that weird? And uh, a traditional you know, hermeneutics and a prophecy teacher, whatever, PhD, some, you know, a doctor. He would say, oh, he's talking about uh, how the, the kingdom, this last kingdom, in the end of days, it's, uh, it's weak and strong at the same time. Iron is strong, clay is weak. Okay. Part of iron, part of clay, the kingdom shall be divided. But there shall be in it the strength of iron, for as much as the iron is the clay. The kingdom shall partly strong and partly broken. Okay? However, let's read that again. So iron makes a mighty clay, they shall, shall mingle themselves with seed of man, but they shall not cleave one to another, as iron does not mix with clay. And this is how we know it's in the end of times. And in the days of these kings, shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left for other people, or shall be break into pieces. Or consume and consume all, but it shall break into pieces and consume all these kingdoms and shall extend forever. So he's talking about how when this thing coming, it's coming. This 
weird last kingdom part strong part weak uh, out of it after it is destroyed it will be the reign of Jesus Christ which will last forever it's an everlasting kingdom you know it's an eternity as we we know it uh, this is the end of history the real end of history at Fukuyama states that uh, the new world order will be the end, end of history it's not the end of history the new world order the end of history is when Jesus Christ himself destroys the new world order praise Jesus praise the Lord our Savior and uh, there is no way to escape this verse 43 okay there is no way to escape they're talking about something that is not human, mixing with seed of man, and there is no way you can tell me otherwise. It's weird, it's crazy, but it's there. Okay? Something is coming. And it's talking about iron. I think it's talking about something transhuman, you know, something that is enhanced or maybe even out of this planet. It's something demonic that's coming through a portal and will manifest itself either by technology, you know, enhancement. What do you think is this craze for tattoos? I never seen so many tattoos in my life. This crazy piercing thing and modding your body. What is this spirit that is making people hate their bodies? The creation of God and change and put silicone all over it. You know, and butch it with butcher knives. Oh, I'm getting pretty. Disgusting. What is this? It's a demonic force that is trying to make people accept something really evil that's coming. You know, you start by painting your, your skin. It will never get off. You start by, you know, poking holes in your skin and changing shapes and sizes. And the next thing you know, you're putting, you know, prosthetics, you know, strong, getting stronger. Deus ex, mankind divided kind of stuff. And the next thing you know, you're merging yourself with the machine. And the next thing you know, you are a vessel for a demon. Something really weird is coming. Really weird. And uh, as Revelation tells us, He calls the rich, the poor, the small, the great, the bond, and free to receive a mark. The right hand, the four hands. No man might buy or sell, save he had had the mark. The name of the beast, the number of the beast. Something really weird is coming. All around us. You know, mainstream media calls it the transhumanist tipping point, turning point, the GMOs, everything is getting better, enhanced. Elon Musk from Tesla says we're going to live forever. You know, Google wants you to accept shipping. Something really weird is coming. And I think a lot of what Donald Marshall, B.O.B., these people are saying, and doing, could be just to uh, discredit the real stuff. Or it could be something really weird and wrong coming. And uh, this cloning Mimi that suffers is just a some kind of predicted programming for us to accept something far more sinister, far more sinister. So, am I uh, positive about my my views on what is possible with cloning and things like that? Well, I, I told you what science says it's possible. I told you what fringe science say we are in the verge of it. I told you, of course, what the the celebrities, so-called celebrities and artists, are 
pushing, you know, pushing, pushing, pushing. And uh, to be honest, I don't know, it could be that uh, these disgusting celebrities like Britney Spears, they, they are being cloned. I don't know. I, I think it's, you know, there, there's some uh, limitations because uh, the way Donald Marshall says it's happening, it, it's impossible. He says, oh, you just put salt water and the clone grows and it grows into an adult age. Of course it's not that. Of course it's not that. It's possible that uh, they are, they have technology to make an uh, uh, embryo grow into an adult faster. It's possible. It's hidden. But of course it's not salt water. Because if it was salt water, then you could do it in your home. It's high, if it is, if it, there is something like this going on, it's high tech. And uh, the demons that attack you at night are not clones, okay? They're demons. They are from another other dimension. And you can rebuke them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Most of what you call alien abduction, alien experience, UFO sightings are demonic. And you can rebuke them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the first thing. Then there are, uh, you know, wealth of stuff we don't know. But... I am not the one that sit here and start saying, oh, you know, uh, Bernie Mac was replaced. If I don't know for sure, I, I am not saying. I'm not regurgitating something that some dude that was in the Megadeth cover uh, told in a video, especially someone that clearly has tied, ties with demonic uh, satanic uh, agendas. Because if you watch one of these videos, you will be attacked for like two or three days. If you're saved. If you're not saved, you, you're hooked forever, probably. Because there's something really demonic about that guy. But, uh, Marshall aside, there is something really weird going on. Really weird. And, uh, I just want to finish with one thought. Think about what is going on. In the in these last days, as we we call it, right? All the Netflix, the Hollywood, you know, TV, whatever, music industry. What the things they are pushing? They are pushing to us transgender, uh, transgender sodomite, sodomizing your kids, you know, pedophilia, and they human flesh you know like the what's her name Santa Clarita diet and uh, let's go the Santa Clarita diet a, a woman that eats human flesh okay it's funny. They think it, this shit is funny. Okay. Shows about sodomizing kids. Shows about uh, sodomy. Shows about uh, the most disgusting thing. Sex with demons. That, that, that's the stuff they are pushing to us. This is what the music industry is all about today. Katy Perry with witchcraft, Lana Del Rey, witchcraft, uh, Keisha and Lady Gaga, the sodomite agenda. This is what they want us to be. And yet, people are getting saved every single day. In this, there's no way this world can get more demonic than it already is. Without um, a disclosure, you know, without turning the veil off, demons manifesting the flesh. This is before that happened. This is as evil as it can get. You know, good is called evil. Evil is called good. Lies are told told to us by the mainstream media. In the name of love, they sodomize our kids. They mutilate themselves to become women. 
They put both statics in themselves to become man. And they say it's in the name of love, it's beautiful. There's no way this world can get more evil before the veil is torn, before we see real uh, manifestations of the demonic realm. This is as evil as it gets, with this disgusting blonde eating human flesh. That's what she's doing on Netflix, Santa Clarita Diet. Disgusting. You know, carrying a freaking corpse to eat. And it, that's supposed to be funny. And the thing is, yet with all this evil going on, people are finding Jesus Christ the Lord every single day. There is nothing the devil can do about it. There is nothing the devil can do about it. There is nothing the devil can do about it. People are getting saved every single day. Hundreds of thousands, millions of people finding Jesus Christ, repenting for their sins, and getting saved and getting eternity. By the Lord Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what Satan does. And once you get saved, you realize it's all stupid. It's all stupid. What the devil can offer you is ridiculous. A new car, a blonde with silicone boobs. It's ridiculous. He has nothing to offer. A taste meal? You know, uh, uh, white rice and, and, a, uh, and a fried egg is also tasty. And costs nothing. There is nothing he can offer you. Oh, he can offer you an island and a, a boat. Who cares? You know, who cares about this? It's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. A good, a good piece of clothing. You know, the flesh is more than the clothes. The life is more than the food. He has nothing to offer. You only realize that after you get saved. So yeah, there's something really war weird going on. But uh, beware conspiracies, because a lot of them are made to, you know, to bamboozle you, not to inform you. And uh, if they deny the Lord Jesus Christ, there is no truth in them. See you later.